Hello, and welcome to the instructional video of the Sun Saluta Solar Panel Rotating Tracker. This video covers Stage 2, Frame Assembly, covering Steps 2 to 5. We'll look at measuring wood, how to cut it, positioning, fixing them together with the bracket, forming your A-frame, and mounting the solar panel. Now when it comes to frame assembly, take the two pieces of four foot lengths you just prepared. These four pieces should be of equal length. At one end of each piece, cut off a small section at a 45 degree angle. These angled ends will become the feet of the A-frame, so it will sit flat on the ground. Find a flat location where you'll be able to set up your sun saluter. We are using a 45 degree T-shaped bracket we found at our local hardware store. Now you can use just about any size bracket you can find. As long as it's able to put these two lengths of material at a 45 degree angle at the top to form the A. This will help act as the main support centre for the solar panel itself. We are now going to take the remaining pieces of timber to create the supporting bracket on the frame for sturdiness. Using one of the three foot lengths, attached using galvanised nails or twine, this supporting piece will help stabilise the A-frame, which you'll see shortly. Moving on to finding the solar panel's balancing point and fixing brackets. This part can be tricky. We'll need to find the centre of the solar panel on its longest edge. This will act as the pivot point so it can move consistently throughout the day. You'll need to measure your solar panel and find exactly halfway down both sides, making holes on either side. Here, we are bending a flat piece of aluminium we found in the hardware store to create our bracket. We have taken a simple piece of metal and bending it on a 45 degree angle to create our support bracket. Using a bolt between this bracket and the A-frame to act as the pivot point for the sun saluter to be able to track the sun. If available, you can also buy an existing L-bracket that might be stronger. You'll need to apply a supporting bracket to your solar panel and have the attached before the next step. With your brackets already attached to your solar panel, take a measurement of the outside edges of each bracket to gauge the width. Using this measurement, you'll be able to determine the distance between the two A-frames while standing to support the solar panel. With this measurement, we can now cut our remaining lengths of timber for crossbars and support. Fix them approximately halfway down the A-frame with nails or twine, as you can see here. Apply to both ends. While in the center of your A-frame supports, you'll need to attach another piece of further support that can hold your batteries and capture the panel's energy. With these last pieces of timber now applied, we have a sturdy A-frame and are ready to attach our solar panel. Mounting the solar panel can be difficult with one person and you may need an extra set of hands. No weights need to be applied just yet. The solar panel should sit in the center supported by a bolt between the A-frame and brackets mounted to the panel. The pivot point needs to be above the panel for the solar panel to swing correctly. The solar panel should just sit balanced while at rest. 